Hello, good day everyone. Magandang araw po sa lahat. Uh, our topic for today is all about the solution of quadratic equation by factoring. Hello, good day everyone. Magandang araw po sa lahat. Uh, our topic for today is all about the solution of quadratic equation by factoring. Okay? So, paano ba ito natin may solve yung quadratic equation using factoring? So, unang-una, so kailangan natin i-transform yung uh, equation using yung standard form para yung uh, one side ay magiging zero. Secondly, is uh, we need to factor the non-zero side. Then, uh, pangatlo, is we need to set its factor to zero or yung applying of the zero product property. And pang-apat or panghuli is we need to solve its uh, resulting equation. Okay? So, para maintindihan po natin, I will give you an example. Let's say we have example number one. So, suppose we have uh, 5x squared uh, minus 10x is equal to 0. So, this is an example of a quadratic equation which uh, we need to determine the value of our unknown variable x using factoring. Okay? So, ano bang factor ng 5 and 10? So, based on our uh, inspection, makikita natin na we can factor the numerical coefficient based on the numerical coefficient of the quadratic term at the same time the linear term since the given quadratic equation is not complete. So, ilalabas natin yung 5x. Uh, this is the pro, uh, greatest common factor. Then, open parenthesis. So, paano siya magiging x squared? So, kailangan natin ilalagay yung x so that if you have to determine the product, babalik dun sa original given na uh, quadratic equation natin. Then, uh, minus, paano siya magiging 10x? So, we need to multiply it by 2, 5x. So, x minus 2 is equal to 0. Meaning that 5x squared minus 10x, the factor of it is 5x uh, times x minus 2 because 5x times x is 5x squared. Then under the distributive property, 5x times negative 2, babalik dun sa 10x. So, meaning that uh, 5x squared minus 10x is we can rewrite that into 5x times x minus 2. So, after that is, we have to solve its resulting equation. So, 5x is equal to 0, one of the equation. Then, one of the factor that we created into 0. Then, other factor is, uh, x minus 2 is equal to 0. So, that we could determine the value of x. So, parang uh, ginawa nating linear term. Ito lahat. No? Para madali natin makuha yung value na x. So, in this case, 5x is equal to 0, so determine the value of x is, uh, in this case, we need to divide both sides by a number. So, uh, we need to divide it by 5. So, 5x is equal to 0, divide both sides by 5, divide both sides by 5. So, 5 divided by 5 is 1, or 1 times x is simply x. And then, 0 divided by 5 is equal to 0. So, this is one of our value. So, one of the value is x is equal to 0. Then another one is, we need to apply the addition property of equality in order for you for us to determine the value of x here. For the second factor, we have x uh, minus 2. Then we have to add addition property, we have to add it by 2. is equal to 0 plus 2. So why we need to add it by 2? So that this will become equal to 0, x na matitira. So x becomes 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. Or, the other uh, method is simply... We simply transpose that negative 2 into the right-hand side of our equation. Then, remember that we need to uh, change the sign, which is negative going to positive. So, these are the values of our x that could satisfy the given equation. We will try to check this. No? We will try to check. So, we have to check if uh, our answer is correct. No? We need to be able to check this. Okay? So, we will try if x is equal to 0 as our first value. 
So, palitan natin lahat ng x ng 0. So, by inspection, 0 times 0 is 0. Then, uh, times 5, 0 na ito. So, minus 10 times 0. So, magiging 0. No? So, but we will try to, ipapakita natin. No? 5 x squared uh, based on our original equation, 10 x is equal to 0. Palitan natin lahat ng x ng 0. 5 times 0 squared minus 10 times 0 is equal to 0. So, become 0, 0. So, 0 is equal to 0. So, ito yung igiging value natin. Ng, so, meaning that the value of our x here is 0 is correct. So, about the second value which is equal to positive 2 or 2. So, balikan natin yung original equation. We have 5x squared minus 10x is equal to 0. So, palitan natin ito ng positive 2. No? If that value can satisfy the given quadratic equation. Okay, we have 5 times 2 squared minus 10 times 2 is equal to 0. So, 2 times 2 is 4. So, 4 times 5 is equal to 20 minus 2 times 10 is 20 is equal to 0. 20 minus 20 is 0 is equal to 0. So, correct. So, correct. So, meaning, x is still is equal to 0. So, there are only two factors or there are only two values of x that could satisfy the given quadratic equation. Okay? So, yun yung... Uh, Suppose that the given is not complete quadratic equation. No? So, or we may say incomplete quadratic kasi wala siyang, uh, as unities, wala siyang constant na given. No? Hindi constant. No? Okay, how about mag-given tayo ngayon ng constant? So, mag-isip tayo ng mga example. Halimbawa, say, number 2 example, sabihin natin, uh, x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. So, halimbawa, ito yung given natin. So, this is now complete, no? While, on our second example dito, makikita natin, our first example rather, makikita natin that the given is wala siyang constant, no? Walang negative plan, walang constant that involves x. Okay? Now, so, in this case, so, what we're going to do, unang-unang gagawin is we need to have open parenthesis, close, open, close parenthesis is equal to 0. Yan ang pinakunang gawin natin kapag ito ay complete quadratic equation. Now, so dapat naka-arrange siya. Pangalawa is dapat, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, that we need to transform that. No? Suppose ito ay hindi nakatransform sa standard form. So, kailangan natin ito transform ito into standard form. Ito yung ruling kasi when we are applying the factoring. No? Ito yung uh, ruling natin. Okay. So, pangalawa is, next na move natin is, kukopyahin natin yung x, yung mga variable na given. That is not only x. Kung halimbawa, ang given natin dito is y, so y din yung gagamitin natin. Kung ang given natin dito is z, so we need also to put z here. So, ito yung mga basic na step natin when we are applying factoring in quadratic equation. Okay. So, after nakasulat kayo dyan, gagawa kayo ngayon ng malaking x. So, the purpose of the x here is to copy. No? Or, kukunin natin ngayon yung product of the last term based on the given leading term coefficient which is dito kasi yung leading term ay uh, yung numerical coefficient of our quadratic term here is 1 no 1 ito so 1 times negative 10 that is negative 10 then we need to copy this neg plus positive 3 dito sa baba no so after that makukuha natin ito the next thing we are going to do is we have to look for the factor of negative 10 ano ba yung mga dahilan Kung bakit siya nagiging negative 10? Pwede sabihin natin na 1 times negative 10 because the product of that will be chemical to negative 10. Then, pangalawa, we have uh, negative 1 times positive 10 because the product of that will be equal to negative 10. So, those are the factors. Pangatlo, sabihin natin 2 times negative 5. The product of 2 and negative 5 is still equal to negative 10. Pwede pa rin natin gamitin yon. Pang-apat, piling sabihin natin negative 2 times positive 5. Then the factor, uh, the product of this still equal to negative 10. So after that, na makukuha natin yung mga factor nito doon sa taas. The next thing na uh, gagawin natin is, we have to find the sum of the factors. Dapat, the sum of the factors will be equal to positive 3. So yun dapat ang uh, gagawin natin. So i-add natin, halba 1 minus 10 is equal to negative 9. So, negative 9 is not equal to 3. So, ibig sabihin, this is not a factor na pwede natin gawin dito. Ito, this is positive 9. Ito, this is, so, if you have to add that, negative 1 
plus 10 is equals to positive 9. So, hindi rin pwede. That is not equal to 3. Ito ngayon, yung 2 minus 5. 2 minus 5 is equal to negative 3. So, malapit na. Pero hindi pa rin ito naging factor niya. Bakit? Kasi negative 3 ito, positive 3 doon yung dapat na maging result natin. And then, the last is negative 2 plus 5 which you have to combine this under the addition or combination of integers, this is equal to positive 3. Positive 3 is equal to 3. So meaning, ito ngayon yung factor natin. Yung negative 2, sulat natin dito. Then positive 5 dito. And then ito rin yung kukopyahin mo doon. So that is negative 2 and positive 5. Meaning, ito na ngayon yung factor ng x squared plus 3x minus 10. So, the factor of x squared plus 3x minus 10 is x minus 2 times x plus 5 is equal to 0. So, pag makuha na natin ito, based na sinabi ko kanina, after factor the non-zero sign, you have to set its factor to 0. Okay? So, apply the zero product property. So, we have x minus 2 is equal to 0. Then, other one, we have x plus 5 is equal to 0. Ito yung mga factor natin, i-equate natin to 0. Ito yung factor na isa, equate natin to 0. Para makuha natin yung value ng x, is equal to, using the addition property of equality here, so it, or uh, itatranspose natin, the sign will change, negative 2, pag itatranspose natin, magiging positive 2. And this will be the value of our x. So answer na natin. Pangalawa is, in this case, x plus 5 is equal to 0. Ang i-apply natin dito is, negative or subtraction property of equality. Or we change the sign if you have to transpose that into the right hand side. Magiging negative 5. And this will be our value for the second value of our x. So kung i-check natin, no? I-check natin. Check natin. So kunin natin if uh, x is equal to 2. So palitan natin lahat ng x dyan ng 2. Kung talaga bang magiging 0 dito sa ating left hand side. Dito sa left hand side natin. We have x squared plus 3x. Okay. Minus 10 is equal to 0. Palitan natin ang 2 ito. So, 2 squared plus 3 times 2 minus 10 is equal to 0. So, 2 times 2 is 4 plus 6. 3 times 2 is 6 minus 10 is equal to 0. So, 4 plus 6 is 10. 10 minus 10 is 0 is equal to 0. So, meaning this is correct value. Ibig sabihin, 2 can satisfy the given quadratic equation. So, another one. If we have to check that. Okay, we will try. If x is equal to negative 5. Palitan natin lahat ng x dito. Based on the original, ha? Original equation. Balikan natin yung original equation. So, we have uh, x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. Is, palitan natin yung negative 5 yung lahat ng x dito. Negative 5 squared plus 3 times negative 5 minus 10 is equal to 0. So, negative 5 times negative 5 that is positive 25 because negative times negative is positive Positive 3 times negative 5 is negative 15 minus 10 is equal to 0. So, 25 minus 15 is 10. Minus 10, ito, is equal to 0. 10 minus 10 is 0, is equal to 0. So, meaning this is also correct. There are only two values of x there, of the unknown variables x, that could satisfy the given quadratic equation for our example number 2. So, ito yung proseso natin para meron tayong direction in order for us to determine the factor of the given quadratic equation. So, we will go to the So, paano kung the numerical coefficient is not equal to 1? As we notice, the example natin dito ay numerical coefficient natin ay hindi 1. So, I will give you an example kung paano po kunin yun. Okay. So, mag-isip tayo ng number na uh, yung uh, numerical coefficient ng ating x squared. Meron siya. Aside from positive 1. So, we have example number 3. So, mag-isip tayo, let's 